So welcome to Techno Dad Life and uh, today's episode we're going to be installing Lychee which is a photo uh, organizing program and with that we're going to be installing Maria database so we're going to do a container interacting with a container today and so as part of that we just have to do a few different settings than normal and as always if you like this make sure you like and subscribe and here we go now. So first we're going to search for two different things. So we're going to search for the Linux server, Maria database. And so first we're gonna install that one. When that's done, click close. And next what we're gonna do is search again for a Linux server. But this time we're searching for Lychee. And we're gonna install that. Once that's done, click close. And so we're going to go to Maria database first. And so you can uh, click on that. And there are the different things that we need. So let's go back to our server, click run image. We're gonna call this Lychee database. And restart always. We're gonna keep it in bridge mode Keep it at 3306. Next, we're going to put in our PUID. And for me, that's 1000. And the PGID, which is 100. If you don't know how to find your UID and your PIG, uh, or GID, simply go to shell in the box, log in as root, put in your password, then type ID and your username, and then you'll get your UID and your GID. Next, we're going to put in our time zone. And for me, that is America, New York. Once you're done with that, click plus. And so the next thing we're going to do is type in my SQL root password. And so now we're going to create a password for our database. So my password is going to be secret password. Uh, Put a password that you will remember and write it down because you'll need it in a few minutes. Then click plus. And then next we're going to need a config file or config folder. So right now we don't have one. So let's click on our network and create a new folder. So here we are in our server. Let's click on app data. And so our new folder is going to be called Lychee database. And while we're here, we're going to actually make a folder for Lychee too. So we'll just call that Lychee. Then we can close that. And so we'll go back to host paths, shared folders, app data. And we want the Lychee database, which here is the second one. Click OK. Click plus. And then we'll click save. So next we'll go to Lychee. We'll click on that, click info, scroll down to our information there, go back to our server, click on Lychee, click run image. So we're going to call this Lychee. Restart always, keep in bridge mode. And we're going to go 80, but we're going to call this 81 because our Open Media Vault's uh, UI is on 80. So we're going to have this run on 81. Click, click the plus sign, scroll down, and then we need to put in our PUID again. Hit the plus sign, PGID, hit the plus sign. So next we're gonna go down to container paths, we're gonna hit slash. And so we already created a lychee folder a few minutes ago, so we're going to click on shared, app data, and go to the lychee folder which is the first one click ok click plus next we're going to hit slash and pictures so next we're going to add in our pictures if you haven't already uh, go down to your network go to media so add a photo photos folder and then make sure you put some pictures in it so then you can see that the lychee actually works 
So we're going to click on the folder. We're going to go to Shared Folders, Media. In our Photos folder, we're going to click OK. We're going to click Plus. And so now everything is working. So we're going to click Save. Once that's done, we're going to copy our IP address. And we're going to paste it here. And then for us, our login screen will be at 81. So our login screen will be at 81 because we changed the 80 to 81 because Open Media Vault runs on 80. We're going to hit Enter. And now we need to enter our database host IP address, which for us is 192.168.254.3. And we're going to get rid of that first part there. And so our database username is root. And our password is secret password. And so we're going to let Leachie create its own database. So we're going to hit connect. And so now we need to create a new user and password. So we're going to create user one. And the password is going to be secret password to keep things consistent and create login. Okay, and so now we're in the user interface. So the first thing that we want to do is click import from server. And so for here, we just want to hit slash pictures and then click import and it will start importing. And there you can see it's already imported. And so we have 24 pictures. If we click on those, you can see lots of pictures of me. And so that's how we get Leachy installed. And as always, if you make if you like this, make sure you like and hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.